On to Insight Generation 1. This is a review and discussion of my clutch switch mod, which I'm going to demonstrate here for you. So the clutch switch is one of the most common modifications people do to Generation 1 Insights. And basically, uh, what it does, there is a switch. When you push the clutch in, it turns off the IMA battery uh, setup's ability to charge or assist the car. Uh, to charge or assist the battery. So the idea here is, what if we could have control of when the car was charging and assisting? And the reason for that is that there are times that you may not want assist so that you do not deplete your IMA battery. Now, I have a brand new battery in this car, um, so for me this is kind of irrelevant because the battery is an upgraded VMAX battery. It's an eight amp hour battery. It stays strong, it stays charged for the most part. Um, I've driven it a thousand miles and it's only once gotten below the halfway mark and tried to, to cycle itself back to charge. So whether or not you have my battery or the 6.1 uh, amp hour battery that Honda built uh, for the car, either way, um, the uh, if you have a new battery, this isn't needed as much, I think, and some of you long timers can speak to this, but I, my feeling is that this mod um, really is best for someone who's constantly charging their battery and not wanting to deplete it. Now, as you see here, I'm going down a hill, and it would, if I were go, to go up the hill, the assist would be needed. So if I push my clutch switch, which has a nice LED, now, as you see, I'm giving the car gas, but there is no assist. So what's happening is the car is basically in gas-only mode now. And to be honest, it actually is still is like quite drivable. I've, I've my last inset I owned was like this, and uh, it it um, was gas only when I first bought it. And you know it's acceptable, especially uh, with the ability to rev past 4,000 RPM and not shut off the the uh, 12 volt uh, the DC converter. But um, so what I just did is I got up a hill. It did cost me a little bit in gas mileage, but. Um, I didn't use the assist at all. I didn't deplete the battery. Now I'm going to turn the clutch switch off and now as I push the gas you see that I can once again assist. Very simple modification. Um, so when would this really be needed? Well this would probably be used uh, if you were on a road trip, if you didn't have the healthiest battery and you were on a lot of uh, long interstate perhaps uh, hills or maybe even in mountainous terrain and every time you went up a mountain, you'd lose a few bars of charge. And so, if you were on a long trip, let's say four, five, six hours, and you were constantly doing that, I could see how in a car with a weaker battery, uh, the charge would, um, sorry, I'm in traffic here holding this with one, one hand. The charge would, uh, drain the battery going up hills all the time, especially if it was, you know, pretty steep inclines. So, um, you know, again, as I've researched this mod, I, I, you know, I kind of realized that's kind of the, probably the best application if you, if you want to save your battery from constantly being depleted on large hills, uh, you know, big hills. And then, you know, the consequence of that is you're on a road trip and then your battery is uh, constantly going into the cycle of recharging itself. And that would be the application as I see it, again, being an owner of a car with a fresh battery, really not as needed, um, but I could see where if you were you know, on in that sort of uh, situation, that would be a way to save the battery and not have it depleting um, all the time. So clutch switch, again, and it's just wired in. You can look up clutch or also called CalPod mod modification, CalPod switch. Uh, this is a real nice one. Somebody, uh, a friend of mine, just you know, basically put a switch with an LED and fit it right into the uh, existing. Uh, get a little more light here. I'll be quiet. I'll turn this car off. The insight fools you. You think it's off, and it's not. It's just an auto stop. And this was just wired right into this. So, uh, well, of course, the power's off now, so it's not going to work. But you know, it uses this uh, stock blank here which uh, I was going to put my oil slick there, but the clutch switch went there, so I'll put the oil slick here and the, the missiles here. Um, so in any case, uh, that's the clutch switch mod, and uh, I'll try, I don't know if you'll be able to see, probably not yet, yeah, it's a bit too dark and I don't have a flashlight on me, but again, it's just a very simple, just a wire going to that switch, uh, you know, soldered onto the, the wire that's there existing. And um, again, you know, and I'll say this in closing, this has been a fun mod. I've only had on the car for a week, but it's kind of been fun. Um, you know, my, my question to a few longtime insiders is, well, why would I install this with a new battery? And they said, well, why not? Like, 
wouldn't it be cool, even if you don't use it, to have control of when the car is uh, using the battery or not? And so I thought, I don't know, but I'll take your word for it. Let's do it. Cheap, easy install. So I did it. And now as I've driven around town the last um, week with the car, it's kind of been fun because it's like, it's really interesting, if nothing else, just to be able to push that, uh, turn off the IMA, and then just feel the car in the gas-only mode and... Uh, you know, feel, feel it rev up to redline. You know, you can kind of feel the VTEC a little more because you don't have the IMA uh, engaging in, in helping the car. So, you know, it's just more nerd stuff, guys. Just just another nerd thing. Again, if I had a depleted battery, this would really be useful. As it is, I don't. But it's sort of one of those things of, like, why not? Let's, let's add this. So that's my review of the Insight Clutch Switch. Uh, next review, I'm going to find my head mount. I lost it. That's why I'm holding this in my hand, but I'm going to do some more thoughts. I'm going to do a, um, I'm excited. I did a, a road up, a, kind of a, what does it cost to build, rebuild a Honda Insight like I've done. I've done two now. This one's about finished and bought the cars cheap and kind of did everything I wanted to do. So kind of like, what's the true cost of ownership? So I'm going to be working on that in the next few days, throwing that out. And, uh, that'll be the next video coming on the Honda Insight series. So, uh, hey, bless you. Peace to you. Goodwill. Have a good uh, day and uh, leave me some comments if you have them. And thanks for uh, checking out this video.